In this quick tip video, we will be showing you how to complete a Moodle restart. This refers to starting a program in the middle of a program. Moodle refers to reading the entire program to the specified line to gather all of the modal information that has taken place up to that point. The most common example of this is when a tap breaks while tapping a hole in our program. In this case, we may not be able to get the tap out until we can get the part out of the machine. So, we need to replace that tap and start the program at the next hole, as shown here. When we start modally, we need to make sure we have the correct information, such as the proper can cycle, height offset, diameter offset, and location coordinates of the process. The process is actually in two parts. First, you will need to get your program to the restart point. When doing this, you will get a history of the program and a properly positioned program. After that, you will have to take care of the physical part, like the correct tool and getting the spindle running correctly. For the programming part of the restart, the only option of doing a modal restart is using the Restart Menu key button. We can utilize line numbers and block numbers to find the location inside the program. A block number is a line of the program that does not contain a line number. In this example, we are going to use the fifth block as our restart position. Now, when we go to do a restart, we can search for the fifth block after line number three, which is our tapping cycle, so that we can reach the proper X and Y coordinate in this process. There are two types of restart modes when using this method. Those are Type 1 and Type 2. Type 1 refers to a restart when you have not made a change to the program's parameters or tool and work offsets. Type 2 is a restart where it does not matter if you made changes. It will search for that line in the program. If you input your search criteria and you get a search error located here, you can change over to Type 2 and press Input again. To begin the restart process, press the Research menu key. Now we can type in the search command two ways. The first way is to type in the program number, a slash, the line number, another slash, then finally the block number. In this example, we will type in 1234 slash 3 slash 5. In order to start the search process, we will press the input button. You will see the program stop at the line you requested. Your program is now ready to be started. The second way is to just type in the line number and the block number. Type a slash first to allow it to go into the default program, which is located here. The line number, a slash, then the block number. In this example, we will type in slash 3 slash 5. In order to start the search process, we will press the input button. You will see the program stop at the line you requested. Your program is now ready to be started. The last step is to have the physical side prepared to restart the program. As we mentioned before, this particular restart records the history of the program and stores the empty M, S, and T codes here in the MSTB history. Press that menu key and it will take you into a window that will show you the codes that have happened up to your restart point. Going from left to right, it shows you the codes closest to your restart point. Going back to our example of the broken tap, you will have to replace and measure a new offset for the tool. This means you already have the tool in the spindle. 
The only other part would be to have the tap spinning before you execute the program. You can do that by moving the cursor in MSTB history to the S row that is just below the tool that you have. So here, we have tool number 3. We will move the cursor to the S500 just below tool 3. This is the RPM that it is supposed to run at in the program. Once highlighted, we just press Input. This sets the speed for our tab. Next, we will move the cursor to the nearest M3. Once you're highlighted at an M3, press Input. You should now see the tab spinning. You now have the machine and the program ready to go. Press Cycle Start to execute the program at the restart point. If there are any difficulties with the restart, some parameters may need adjusting. Those particular parameters are located here. 